Hi, Serious Bruce here, back on our Anti Inventions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 33, and you can see E1400 Antimatter. Enough galaxy points to get this upgrade, we're just gonna get reduced dimension boost cost multiplied by 1, and dimension boost multiplied galaxy point gain. So, it's written now it's E25, this goes all the way up to, let's see, E26. That's, that's a 60 times boost to galaxy points. That's, that's actually really good, and have we unlocked the next Infinity Challenge? Um, yes, we have. I have no idea when it even unlocked, but Dimension and Tick Speed Cost Multiplier increases start immediately, but are reduced. This happens to be the, ch the exact same challenge as the, the second Infinity Challenge in New Game Minus 3. So, and that's that. I don't, I don't think it's worth going for the next upgrade because even with this, it's just... I'm really not going to be able to get E31 Galaxy Points. That's just out of reach right now. So let's just start this challenge. Um, so hopefully I can do it. The goal is E1200. I'm not quite sure if that's possible. I think what I should first be doing is holding the D key down and trying to just get as many galaxies as possible. And then also trying to click the tick speed boost button so I don't buy the tick speed boost one by one. So... Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to be doing this for a while. Um, see when everything calms down. Okay, so this is where I seem to end up. E1000 Antimatter. So I'm, I'm 200 or the magnitude away. It might be possible. I mean, this is definitely kind of uncertain whether to as I think it's possible or not. I do think I should probably be getting this upgrade now, even though it'll be a temporary nerf. It'll eventually just it'll just boost all of these. Maybe it's, it's it'll boost them enough that it'll probably make it worth it just to go over the, everything. And you can see actually I'm getting to the next set of tick speed boosts here. And if I can get up to 328 dimensions, that and I I do think that is possible. That allows me to get another galaxy. So, I, I think that galaxy will really, I think that galaxy will allow me to at least gain, like, even if it's just 40 orders of magnitude of antimatter, you can actually see the dimension boosts are actually really powerful, and you get minus 4, I have to remember that, they're way more powerful than tick speed boosts, and almost as powerful as galaxies themselves, which is really weird, but I'm up to E1050 antimatter, it's E1070 for the next set of... 8th dimensions, and then if I can get that, that will probably, I need to grind all the way to like probably E1130 to get the next, get the galaxy, but I think if I can do that, that will put me close enough to E1200 that I will be able to beat this challenge, so yeah, see in a bit when I, uh, when I know for certain if I can or cannot beat the challenge. Okay, I'm back like six hours later, and the big crunch screen is there. So this means I have completed the challenge. Let's see what the reward is. The reward is cost multiplier increases are reduced, and tick speed cost multiplier increase is further decreased based on galaxies. So this is the same effect as, uh, where is it? These upgrades, these two upgrades. So, um... I wish I could get a more accurate description of that. Um, I'm still not exactly sure if just grinding infinity points is the is the better way. I still feel like just trying to get as far as I can is still probably the better way to go. Because, I mean, I was getting infinity points so slowly that literally just the off, like, just, just the idle progression of it is good enough. I, don't know, I could try to, to get better infinity points, but... It, I just want to see where I'm, like, what kind of antimatter I even have. So you can see, well, I know, okay, 10 galaxies is here if it will stop buying tick speed boosts instead of galaxies. Actually, no, I need 437. So um, I'm still a little bit away, but yeah, it, it'll happen eventually. And I feel like I can at least, I'm already up to E20, like 9, E25. I feel like this next galaxy, like, I think, yeah, I was at 7026. The next galaxy is gonna probably get me to this upgrade. This, that doesn't, it's just normal dimensions boost time dimensions. It's like the it's boring description. It doesn't tell me how much. 
but yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back another like day or two later, and you can see I can get this upgrade. Let's see how much it's gonna actually do. I'm gonna eat 14.92 antimatter. Let's see how much this is gonna increase. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. I mean, I guess if it's boosting time dimensions, that's gonna be well. Yeah, if it's boosting time dimensions, that's that's actually gonna be big because well, all the tick speed upgrades are gonna help quite a bit. But it's still kind of disappointing. The next upgrade here is E34 Galaxy Points. I'm not sure if that's even possible to reach. I kind of want to reach that E1777 antimatter. And I think actually I can get two dimension boosts from this, this next set of eighth dimensions. And it seems like I've already actually gotten a tick speed boost here. So, and there's two more tick speed boosts to grab. So maybe if I just wait long enough, it'll happen. Especially because um, it's the time dimensions that are being buffed, and the time dimensions just buff the entire run, basically. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, so it's been another day, and disappointingly, this is how much antimatter I have. It's not anywhere close to the next dimension, and I've, it's been a day, so this is kind of out of reach at this point. The one good thing is I did unlock a new infinity challenge, but this looks really hard. Multiplier per 10 dimensions is 1 times, dimension boosts have no effect, have a much lower time dimension cost limit, and tick speed boost effect soft cap starts immediately. And I think actually off camera I did grab this upgrade. So I think I'm just going to crunch and attempt the challenge, but there's no way this is actually possible because, well, if dimension boosts do nothing, there's no reason to really get them. So I'm going to disable this auto buyer and um, just have it, have it do Tixie boost. I still need to get the four, um, just the, the first four dimension boosts, but i probably nowhere close to E1200 or E1210. That's how much I need. So I just need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, at least I can get nine galaxies. That is. A little bit of achievement, um, and I, I guess I'm, I'm just gonna keep buying this in sets of four, just to see how much I can get. Maybe I should actually turn off my ticks, my, my tick speed boost auto buyer because um, that's also just taking a lot of time to get past. So yeah, you see this is. Like, even if I max Dimension Boost, actually, Dimension Boost seem to be doing something. Even though it says they have no effect. Maybe it's some secondary boost based on Dimension Boost. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it's probably this one. Dimension Boosts? No, it's not that one. I thought there was something that was based on Dimension Boosts. Maybe it's a Break Infinity upgrade. I, I really have no idea. Maybe, no, maybe it boosts Galaxy Points. That's probably what it is. Like, even though they, they don't have an effect, they still boost the galaxy points, if that makes any sense. Because you can see here, if I get four dimension boosts, it's at E22. But then if I get a whole bunch more dimension boosts, now it's up to E24. So, it's probably that. And you can see I'm around 160 orders of magnitude away from the goal. Which, again, is going to make it another toss-up. It's going to be even more of a toss-up than before, just because the dimension boosts are super weak, or they have nearly no effect, but I'm still going to try this. And if this takes less than a few days, I'm going to go all the way to the end. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back just a day later, and you can see Big Crunch. So this means I have completed Infinity Challenge 3. So this means my tick speed... Boost effect soft cap is softer, even though I didn't even know there was a soft cap at all. Remote galaxy scaling starts 0.5 later and triple galaxy points per in, per infinity challenge completion. That's actually the third one. It's really nice because that's 27 times the galaxy points. I think at this point, um, I probably I think yeah I I want to be going for infinity points, or at least I want to see how fast I can get infinity points. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this. I'm just going to try to get max galaxies. I, actually, I'm just going to see. I'm going to first just see how, how much I can get without any dimension boosts. 
yeah, I can get 10 galaxies without any dimension boost, which means that this should be 10. Um, and then if I enable this, um, yeah, that's that's probably the optimal way, except, well, it's maybe I should set this to zero because I don't know why it's dimension boosting. Okay, now again, that's what it should have done. So, yeah, it's definitely this is probably the most optimal way. I might try to Tixie boost, like if I can bulk a hundred, like this. Um, so, like, what if I do this? Is, is that gonna? Um, no, I don't think I can bulk a hundred. What if I bulk eighty? Is that possible? Um, yeah. And actually does allow me to get another galaxy. But I'm not exactly sure if that's really the best choice at this point. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to first just see where I can get without any tick speed boosts. So I can get all the way up to about 5.9 E6 infinity points per minute. Actually, even 6 E6. Infinity points per minute, which is actually really good. And now, if I enable this, let's see how good I let's see how well I can reach now. Actually, it's probably it's probably not too good because this is this is bad. This this should be um, yeah zero. So let, let's see what I can do now. Um, I'm getting 1.14 e7 per minute. So this is definitely this is actually a superior method. I do want to kind of do some small optimizations though. Like, let's see how many tick speed boosts I can even get when I get to 10 galaxies. 98. So actually, 80 is basically optimal. So I'm just going to do this and change this from 1.1e4 um, to, let's see, that is um, about one point. I saw what 1.65 e7 or e6. So 1.65 e6, and just enable this, and even just the um, the upgrade here, like this one, that's going to be giving me 1.13 e6 infinity points per minute, like 24/7 without me having to be active here, which is actually re that's that's really good. That, that allows me to get all the way up to E9 in just a single day. And then I'll be able to get um, this upgrade. And then that's about 3 E9 in the next day. So that should... I mean, there isn't anything groundbreaking coming up. But that at least allows me to get the doubler and then a few of these upgrades. And then I will probably go back to grinding galaxy points. This is still out of reach. Unfortunately, even though I still don't know why it's nerfed, I think New Game Minus 3, this is also nerfed, even though it never needed to be nerfed, um, because the galaxies are already way weaker than in the vanilla game. They're mostly just good for getting galaxy points. So, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully next episode I'll just have more infinity points, and maybe I'll be powerful enough that I can unlock the new dimension. So... Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.